king trump just robbed them blind one billion dollars here come the riots america first by al waisman for freedomdaily.com the united states department confirmed on thursday it was suspend it was suspending at least 900 million dollars in security assistance to the muslim nation of pakistan until it takes decisive uh, action against the afghan taliban and the Haqqani network militant groups operating and being harbored within its borders. The State Department announced the decision saying it reflected the Trump administration's frustration that Pakistan has not done more against the two groups that Washington says uses sanctuaries and safe spaces in Pakistan to launch attacks at the neighboring nation of Afghanistan. Many of those attacks have killed U.S., Afghan, and other allied forces who are fighting the war on terror in the region. U.S. officials also confirmed that two main categories of aid will be affected. One of them will be foreign military financing, which funds purchases of U.S. military hardware, training, and services, and the other will be coalition support funds, which reimburse Pakistan for its failed counterterrorism operations. Officials did add that they could make exceptions to fund critical U.S. national security priorities. Officials did stress that the suspension did not affect civilian aid to Pakistan in any way and that the money could go through if Islamabad uh, took decisive action against the terror groups in question. Via Yahoo, Pakistani minister decries U.S. as friend who always betrays Reuters. Islamabad slash Lahore Reuters uh, Foreign Minister Kawaja Asif said the United States was behaving uh, towards uh, Pakistan as a friend who always betrays after Washington suspended aid and President Donald Trump accused Islamabad of uh, lies and deceit over many years. Opposition leader Imran Khan, a former cricket star, tipped as the next prime minister said it was time for Pakistan to delink from the United States and run down U.S. diplomatic and intelligence presence in what is a sensitive strategic area. Washington accuses Pakistan of playing a double game by assisting Afghan Taliban and Haqqani network militants uh, causing chaos in Afghanistan. Islamabad denies this and accuses the United States of disrespecting its vast sacrifices. Casualties have numbered in the tens of thousands in fighting terrorism. Anti-American sentiment and tense U.S.-Pakistani ties are some uh, way off their recent n uh, nadir in 2011 when Osama bin Laden was killed in a secret U.S. raid inside Pakistan, but the harsh rhetoric is likely to make it harder to mend future ties. The U.S. behavior is neither that or uh, of an ally or nor a of a friend, uh, Asif told local Capital TV late on Thursday. It, it is a friend who always betrays Small groups of students chanting death to America and death to Trump burnt American flags and torch photos of Trump after Friday prayers in capital Islamabad and the eastern city of Lahore. The uh, organized protest ended swiftly. Worsening ties may push Pakistan further into the arms of longtime ally China, which backed Islamabad after the fallout from Trump's tweet. Beijing's diplomatic and financial support has also strengthened Pakistan's hand, analysts say. On Friday, Pakistan's foreign office criticized what is called shifting goalposts after the U.S. confirmed it would suspend all security assistance, believed to total at least $900 million until Pakistan stopped assisting militants. Other official government statements in response to Trump's tweets uh, tweet have uh, been measured by Foreign Minister Asif and other, several other prominent polit politicians uh, have lashed out repeatedly. Opposition leader Khan said Trump's uh, tweet and other U.S. comments were part of deliberate attempts to humiliate and insult the Pakistani nation and called for retaliation. 
it is time for Pakistan to delink from the U.S., Khan said in a statement, which called for an immediate removal of excess U.S. diplomatic, non-diplomatic, and intelligence personnel from Pakistan. Khan also called for a suspension of land and air transport routes through Pakistan that the U.S. uses to resupply NATO troops in Afghanistan, a move Pakistani officials privately say is unlikely unless relations drastically deteriorate. U.S. aid suspension was announced days after Trump tweeted that the United States had foolishly given Pakistan $33 billion in aid over 15 years and were rewarded with nothing but lies and deceit, thinking of our leaders as fools. The aid suspension was largely expected by Islamabad, but Pakistani officials were taken aback by Trump's withering tweet and the tone of U.S. announcements. The FBI, his political opponents, African-American football players, are used to uh, to uh, criticize uh, to. Trump criticizing them like this on Twitter. Uh, we are not used to it, said one Pakistani government minister. We were seriously shocked. Politicians such as Asif and Khan have been delivering anti-American statements partly uh, to placate domestic audiences, analysts say, with one eye on general elections due in mid-2018. This is the election period, and for the first time in Pakistan's history, anti-Americanism will become an issue in an election campaign, said Pakistani writer and analyst Zahid Hussein. Ready to eat grass, there is a long history of anti-Americanism in Pakistan, and often the Osama bin Laden raid, which many Pakistanis saw as a violation of the country's sovereignty, relations near breaking point in 2011. That year, NATO forces bombed a Pakistani army checking po uh, checkpoint, killing 24 soldiers, and CIA contractor Raymond Davis shot dead by two, by Pakistani, by two Pakistanis in Lahore. In the northwestern city of Preshawar, uh, many Pakistanis uh, cited the aid suspensions as another reason for Pakistan to sever ties with Washington. We are ready to eat grass, but only if our leaders become honest and make bold decisions against the Americans, said Jalal Noor Khan, 48, a food merchant. The flag burnings in Lahore and Islamabad were organized by student organizations with links to hardline religious groups. About 60 students were protesting in Islamabad and another 100 in Lahore. The U.S. flag and Trump's photos are under our feet. It's a message to them at, that they will uh, face the same if they did anything wrong against Pakistan, said Rana Z. Shan, one of the student organizers of the Lahore protest. We will erase the U.S. from the world's map. Isn't that precious? Why are we even giving Pakistan money to begin with? These people harbored Osama bin Laden for years. It's about damn time we stopped giving away charity. Until the day comes that we have full employment in the U.S. and our debts are paid off, we need to stop, uh, put a stop to this. And if nations who uh, that want to hate us, uh, uh, they can hate us uh, for free, enough of paying them to despise us, it's time to put America first. Please share if you agree a nation which is in severe debt has no business giving away money. Well, tell that to Obama, because Obama could have cared less. He was just giving money away. He had no uh, qualms about that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.